Denver sidewalks are the worst. I don't know if they do this on purpose in order to uh, deter us from riding on the sidewalks, but regardless, they are horrible, man. I don't think riding off the road would actually be rougher than riding on the sidewalks here in Denver. Okay guys, today we're heading up to the uh, Guitar Center. Um, tomorrow I'm going up to Boulder and we're going to be talking with Chuck again. I don't know if you guys noticed on my last video at Freedom Bolding Bikes, the audio sucked. And uh, the way I set it up last time was kind of like a shotgun style microphone. And the audio just was not great. And I did a lot of adjustments to try to get the audio where it came in clear, where you could hear both of us. But I had to do a lot of audio adjustment in post. And that just sucked, I mean, and it still sounded like crap, you know? So what I'm gonna do this time is set up live microphones to where each one of us can wear a microphone. The only problem with doing that is that you need a splitter so that you can have two audio channels going into the camera at the same time. So I need to go up to the Guitar Center to get a splitter. Now these cables are relatively inexpensive, they're like $5, so it won't break the bank or nothing. But I definitely need to get one in order to mic up two different channels and two different people. So that's where I'm heading right now, so we're going to go up to the Guitar Center. I don't like going there, I don't like going there or Best Buy or any of those places because Colorado Boulevard sucks. I hate going over to Colorado Boulevard because it's like one of the worst places to ride as a cyclist. People over there are in a hurry. It's really congested, it's really crowded. It's very dangerous, so not really looking forward to it, but I need that splitter for tomorrow, so that's where I'm headed. So let's get to it, I guess. Okay guys, I decided to stop at the camera store since it's not as far down this horrible road. As you can see, <laughs> that road is quite busy and quite dangerous. So the camera shop is closer. We're gonna see if the camera shop has that splitter cable. I'm kind of doubting it, but we'll check and see. And then if not, we'll head to the Guitar Center. Hello. Hello. I need to see if you guys have an audio splitter. Audio splitter, hmm, I don't think I've seen any of those here ever. I told you No, it just has a two buck, three five adapters, and that's about it. All right. That might be a guitar center or best buy. That's my next stop. I don't even know why I bother stopping at the camera store. They never have anything when it comes to adapters or any specialty items. It's just your basic camera stuff, you know? You would think that they would carry splitters and all these adapters that us photographers and videographers need, but 
most of the time they don't. So I'm like, well, it's a shot in the dark because more than likely they're not gonna have it. And I was proven right. It looks like the weather is not gonna hold up. The wind is atrocious. And uh, I really gotta hurry. So I'm gonna hightail it over to the Guitar Center and uh, hopefully I can find what I need there. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good, sir. Hey, what's happening? I need to see about getting an audio splitter. Okay, for uh, like a, looks like a camera maybe? Yeah, for uh, two audio channels into a camera. Head down to that audio department right up there. There should be a gentleman in a hat. To be All able right. To help you. If not, come snag me. All right, thank you. Yeah. Hello, how's it going? I need to get an audio splitter. Uh, okay. 3.5 millimeter, separate channels into a camera. Watch him not have it. <laughs> All these adapters and... No, I do not. Um, did you try Mike's camera up the street? Yeah, they sent me here. Yeah, I don't have any 8 inch splitters, unfortunately. Alright, I appreciate it. Do you like working here? Thank you. I hate coming over to this area of town. I really do. Mainly because this is what all the roads look like and this is what the sidewalks look like. And so not only is it like a rough ride and it beats your bike all to hell, but also because of the traffic and the people that don't pay attention to what they're doing. It's miserable coming around here. So I hope I didn't come down here for nothing. <laughs> Guitar Center did not have my adapter as you guys heard. So God, man, the only other choice down this road would be best buy and if they don't have it i'm gonna have to order it online which means i'm not going to be able to get it for my uh video that i'm making with chuck at freedom folding bikes tomorrow so i'm not very happy about this i should have uh been more proactive and thought ahead and ordered that thing maybe last week but i didn't i waited till the last minute and this is what i get i guess i am amazed actually amazed that guitar center did not have one of those well, I gotta head out to Best Buy. I guess that's the only thing I can do right now. And it's just like right up the road up there. So luckily it's not too far down this horrible road. this up here um, somewhere where nobody else steal it <laughs> maybe back there that's fine yeah. thank you I appreciate it thank you do you guys have any audio splitters 3.5 millimeter audio splitters Looks like it. I appreciate it. Thank no you. Worries. Okay, that'll be 1082. Huh? 
I appreciate it. Thank you. This is awesome. Okay. <laughs> At least the trip down here to Colorado Boulevard was not in vain. You could always count on Best Buy. Best Buy will always have what you need. Every time I come to Best Buy, I always find these little oddball adapters. They, they have a plethora of those and it's really nice. It's pretty bad when specialty guitar centers and specialty camera shops don't have these necessary adapters for us videographers. It's so irritating. Especially when they're audio adapters, you think Guitar Center would have tons of those on hand. So disappointed in Guitar Center and these camera shops, but Best Buy, you did really well. Yeah, let's get back over to my side of town, man. I hate riding down this road, I hate it. Well, I made it back over to my side of town, which is actually in the center of town because I live in downtown Denver. Uh, luckily, I'm kind of centrally located so I can hit all parts of the city, at, you know, in an equal distance. Guys, we're going to find a, a quiet place to talk. I really want to talk to you about the changes in this channel. A lot of you have noticed that the channel has changed a little bit. The name has changed. A lot of you are probably wondering, is the content going to change? What's going on? So we're going to find a quiet space to sit and talk because I want to kind of explain this to you guys. So let's go do that, okay? I'll, well, maybe the park. I don't know. We'll find, the, we'll find a place. Drunk. I've never seen you clearer than now. We're flying high, floating somewhere up in the clouds. We're going out of ourselves. Can you feel it? Almost like I don't know if it's real. Cause when we're doing our thing, we're the wheels that won't stop turning. So take me on a trip, 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 nah, trip, trip, trip. Oh, I flick the switch, kill the lights. Oh, I wasted. City lights are shining so bright. All these empty faces. We don't care about them tonight. We're going out of ourselves. Can you feel it? Almost like I don't know if it's real. Cause when we're doing our thing, where the wheels don't stop turning. I know we're acting stupid Okay, I'm sorry about that, guys. I uh, came to this park earlier today and I filmed my whole spiel about this channel and the direction this channel is going in and all the changes that are coming and the things that are staying the same. And uh, it was kind of funny because as soon as I got home and I started trying to edit the video, I figured out that there was no audio. I don't know if I forgot to turn on the receiver 
I don't know. It kind of aggravates me because I spent a good amount of time trying to uh, explain where this channel was going and unfortunately everything got screwed up. So I came back out tonight to uh, have that talk with you guys and explain myself and all that's going on. Okay guys, where this channel is going. Um, we're going to be making a lot of folding bike content. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot of folding bike or uh, Brompton adventure videos. That's not going away. Going to do a lot of riding around, so don't worry, okay? There's going to still be quite a bit of riding around. We're going to be doing vlogs. Um, today is a vlog. The vlogs are generally going to run longer than the regular videos, like how-tos and tutorials and product reviews. I'm going to try to keep them on the shorter side. That way people don't uh, get bored with that, you know? I've been trying to work on making the vlogs better, higher quality, more consistent, and that's another thing, more consistent, be able to upload at least every other day, you know? That's my goal right at the moment. I wanted to have a channel name that reflected what the channel is all about. I'm all about biking on folding bikes. I'm all about the Bromptons. I wanted my theme and I wanted my uh, channel art and I wanted the title to kind of reflect that. That's why I changed the name. I hope there wasn't a lot of confusion out there. I do apologize for that. I know a lot of people are like, oh, what happened here, you know? I, guys, I'm really sorry, okay? But I do want to start really focusing on this channel. And the only way to do that is to start getting serious and to start making better content. But I also wanted to start having the channel's visuals reflect what it's about. So that's basically all it is. We're still gonna be doing the vlogs, but don't worry, the content is really not going to change that much. It's just gonna get more focused, that's all. It's gonna be more focused and higher quality, at least that's the goal. I'm sorry about not posting very often. The last couple of weeks, I've been trying to uh, make some adjustments and get things done behind the scenes, which has been taking forever. But now that things are starting to come together, I'm going to be posting more regularly. I am also gonna be doing a live stream at least two days a week. I'm probably gonna be doing one live stream later in the week and one earlier in the week here in Denver and one at an early morning hour here in Denver and one at a later hour. That way I could encompass a large group of people that could probably be able to attend the live streams. I really wanna to try to accommodate the most amount of people as possible. So um, I'm still working that out. I don't know exactly what days and what times. So if you guys really wanna see the live streams, leave the uh, times and days that would be best for you down in the comment section below and I'll read through all those. And that'll give me a good gauge of when everybody's available. That way I can make these live streams and make them for the most amount of people possible. So to recap, we got live streams coming, uh, we got vlogs, we've got uh, tutorials, we got how-to videos, repair videos, product reviews. We got a lot of folding bike content coming your way. So guys, don't give up on the channel just yet. I'm gonna do my best to try to make the content as good as I possibly can and as engaging as I possibly can. Anyway, I want to thank all the new subscribers that have come on board in the last month or two. Welcome, I really appreciate having you here. It's kind of like a big family of folding bike nuts, you know? I really, really do love having you here and I love all your guys' comments and all your feedback and all your information. It's just awesome, it really is. It's more than I could have ever hoped for when starting a channel. Guys, if you have any comments or anything you wanna say, leave it down in the description below. I really love to hear from you. If you guys have any ideas of content that you wanna see, I'm always open to make videos for people. So leave that down in the comment section as well. Guys, slap a like on the video if you like it, and I will see you guys on the next video. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.